Fantastic, many thanks Mrs H. Welcome to the Sunday Shave and uh, hope you're okay in yourselves, uh, health, weather wise and all that sort of stuff, in life. <laughs> um, okay, special one this uh, and I wasn't sure I was going to be filming it uh, to be fair. The Global Shave Club Fat Guy which is their replica of the Fat Boy which is here. So that's the Global Shave Club Fat Guy. This is the Gillette 1960 Fat Boy. As you can see, very, very similar. So what I've done is I've done a little clip of unboxing this, uh, showing it, comparing it quite closely against the genuine um, in all aspects and in weight. Um, so that'll show now. If you don't want to watch that and you want to go straight to the shave, if you look in the description of this video, you'll see a date stamp I've put. Uh, click on that and it'll take you straight to the start of the shave. So um, that's it. So here is what uh, the fat guy comes in. This is the box and this is a genuine Gillette 1960 fat boy. So under the box, nice box. The lid fits nicely. So there's the this is exactly as it comes. There's a sort of leather uh, sheath, put the razor in there. Comes with a card. Hello, congratulations, the fat guy. Um a pack of Jemim blue blades and I can see something else here so it comes with this one comes with two packs new pack shaver boy stainless uh, we'll put them back in there and here is the razor so I'm just going to move these to one side so here's the razor and There it is. So as you can see, hopefully, they look the same. Wow. Good detail. Um, underneath, you can see, hopefully you can see this. This is the fat guy, this is the fat boy. Very similar, a little bit of a difference there. Um, I'll put them height wise so you can see the size hopefully as you can see there they're almost well they are identical in height so we'll now test them on weight so here's my scales my trusty scales on there Switch it on and zero. So this is the Gillette 1960 Fat Boy. Oh, by the way, there's a there's a dud blade in this, so I'm gonna take that out. So make sure this is the genuine. There, and as I'll just put the other camera on. Hopefully you can see. 80 grams. And then we'll put the fat guy and that comes in at 65 grams so there is a weight difference between them um, but I gotta say the build is almost identical absolutely stunning um, twist the base this is the fat guy feels nice now when you undo the, the head you can hear it clicks and adjusts the same as the genuine the only difference I can see is this one is much easier and smoother however 
this one, the genuine, is 1960. So uh, you got 60 years of use there. So it's probably, you know, smoother and worn through through use, but it still works obviously. Um, now at the when you close it, there's a piece here that you turn to lock it. There, that's locked, and it's exactly the same on the fat guy. So when you stop there, turn to lock. So conclusion. Genuine Gillette Global Shave Club Fat Guy. As you can see, they look the same. The only difference underneath is the the um, printing on the base of the Genuine Gillette there, paint number and Gillette, and this one's smooth. Um, another thing here is to note the the grip. Is absolutely fantastic when you look at them amazing the uh, <laughs> I can't believe it it's uh, to see but the only difference between them for me is the weight and that's all so we'll see how it shaves so this is it global shave club fat guy very honoured to have one. I wasn't sure they were going to be sent out to be tried with these being a specific sort of um, razor. First time anything I think has been achieved in this sort of thing. Uh, as I say this is a 1960 and they're very similar. Um, I'm using, I'm going to use the fat guy obviously on setting. Everything's roughly the same. Roughly, very exact actually. Set in four, if you can see there, and I've got this uh, original on set in four on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this on one side, and I put the blade from me into this onto one the other side just to see a comparison, and then I'll stick to this all the way through. Then, um, so thank you, Sheldon, fantastic, uh, right. As you could see, if you watched that uh, first clip, there is a weight difference of 15 grams. The original is 80 grams without the blade, and the Global Shave Club Fat Guy is 65 grams. I believe these are brass. I think they're nickel plated, are they? Or oh, coating on them. Um, but otherwise, they're brass. And these are mixed brass and magnesium for longevity and strength and stuff like that uh, so that's what the weight difference is but uh, looking forward to this so what i'm going to use is i'm going to face lather using the nivea body shaving anti-irritation soap i've used it before shave stick paul h films brush synthetic tuxedo uh, inside the razor and i'll show you in a minute is a gillette silver blue it does come, the packet as you will have seen, does come with two blades, the shaver boy and um, the uh, Genemy, isn't it? Yeah, blue blades. So uh, I'm gonna use the, the Gillette Silver Blue in it. Um, as I say, that's the, just in case you didn't watch the intro, that's the box it comes in and the sort of logo. So, that is it. Looking forward to this. So how are you doing yourselves? Right, okay. A bit of brush in there. While that's filling, I'll show you the uh, Gillette Silver Blue brand new blade in there. That's the inside. And there's no sort of like on the Gillette, there's no markings on here at all. It's clear, clear with the Gillette's got the paint number and the, the date codes. But um, that's in there. 
it's exactly the same as a Gillette, you close it like that and then there's a locking bit there, you turn, so it's exactly the same there. Bit of overhang to be aware of. Bit of a special day today for someone. Who's that? Gavin. Happy birthday, Gavin. Hope you have a great day. Um, I'm sure Natalie will spoil you in presents, maybe, or whatever. Oh, anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day um, for your birthday today. Um, maybe some shaving related stuff, eh? <laughs> Never know do we. Right, okay, we'll wet the face and we'll get going. Sunday shave. This is a twist. Twist to open. <laughs> and I'm just gonna. There's a nice scent on this. It's a it's a sort of a Nivea scent if you like Nivea. And I'm getting I always do with this when the first time I use it. Is a sort of um, orangey scent, very very slight sort of citrus orangey scent. Um, I'm not sure why or if it's there. It just gives me that impression, if that makes sense. Okay, step away in case I splash you. Till we get going. It's a nice easy way of lathering this if you're in a rush, be on a good, especially with this stuff. Wow. Probably put a bit too much on there. Better too much than too little, eh? Okay, so we'll heat the fat guy up. Wow, it's amazing to see. Um, I expect this is chrome plated, you know, compared to a nickel. This is sort of a matte, if you like. Uh, don't forget, this is um, 1960. So, uh, 60 years old. And this is the modern brother. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, here we go. Setting four, as I say, uh, Gillette Silver Blue brand new blade. I'm going to do one side if I clear up with it and then I'll straight away do this side with the original and see if there's any difference I can tell okay here we go Gillette fat guy first use That felt absolutely stunning. So straight away, we'll just rinse, open it up, blade out, Gillette Fat Boy, open it up if I can, blade in, and it's on setting four. We'll heat that up and on the other side while it's in my mind, you see. Here we go. No difference at all. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought that I'd... To be fair, I did think there'd be a slight difference. Because Global Shape Club do make things uh, with a slight more aggression, but not with this. Their idea, I suppose, was to replicate it, so um, they have done on this setting. Yeah, fantastic. And even though there's a 15 gram weight difference, um, this being 15 grams lighter, 65 grams, when you hold them, it's a job to tell. Unless you really concentrate and you, or you're good at weighing things, but you can hardly tell by, by holding them. Fantastic. 
Right, so we'll go back to the fat guy now. Nice to see someone trying to bring back these things, which is very difficult, I should imagine, with all the old original factories gone and all the stuff they would have used up then days. To use that sort of stuff now would be very high cost, wouldn't it? Look at that. So slick, it's fantastic. We'll add a bit of water. Mm, stunning. So what's the shave of the day for you? And if it's anybody else's birthday today, happy birthday! <laughs> or wedding anniversary or something like that, anything. Um, second pass across the growth, keep it on setting four, I'm going to keep it on there, quite happy with that. Good test actually because it's a very slick soap this. You wait till you hear what I'm having for my uh, Sunday dinner. Whew, special on this. Ooh, ooh. I may even sneak a photo before it's cooked. And I will put it in this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, when I said in the last shave, oh, here's a look at the stew. That's why I did the video before it showing the stew, in case you missed it. If you look at the video before that shave is about 1 minute 25 or something. Feels fantastic. If you close your eyes, the feel of that grip, that knurling is exactly the same. It's amazing. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Very nice. We're going to add water. Shall I? No, I rinse it. Let's be tidy. Come on. Yeah, so my uh, Sunday dinner is going to be a T bone steak. Take a look at this. Absolutely stunning. 30 ounces that weighs and a t-bone is uh, what we call sirloin steak and a fillet steak together attached to the bone and uh, obviously the bone is in the shape of a t if you turn it over t-bone steak um, fantastic is a treat for me and that'll be pan fried uh, I won't put too much with it usually I put garlic or something like that but it's going to be pan fried and then with some oil and butter, seasoned salt and pepper first, obviously, uh, brought to room temperature, then pan fried. I'm going to do some Maris Piper potatoes, which will be steamed. Then I will mash them with butter and salt and a bit of pepper. I've got green beans, fine green beans. And um, I'm going to do a sort of mushroom gravy and onion, probably a mushroom onion gravy uh, with it. And it'll be enough. So it's like a Sunday dinner, but it's not steak. And oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stomach's rumbling. Think. <laughs> and uh, I got a choice of uh, refreshments. I got some Thatcher's Gold cider. 
Um, I've got a couple of real ales and I've got some Carling Lager which I've not had for a while to be honest. Here we go. Third pass, still on setting for Global Shave Club Fat Guy. Here we go, against the growth. Wow, and it feels um, comfortable, you know, there's nothing, no issues at all. It feels safe. And this soap is so slick. And it's ploughing through it. What's your meal of the day? MOTD. That's a new one, isn't it? I do know we've been saying that for a while. Really nice. I'll put a link as always to this in the description so you can read up on it yourselves, the details uh, of everything, where it's made and everything. Um, and see what you think of it, fantastic. I think there's a, a red on it, there's a gold version coming out after this. Or it might be out by now, I'm not sure. But uh, really nice to see it shine. It's, am it's amazing, isn't it? Well, I never thought I'd have my hands on one. As many other shavers as well as those YouTube's videos. Right, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Not even any need for more soap or nothing. That quick sort of face lather did the job. Good stuff, that. I would recommend that Nivea, if you can see it in your shop anyway. If you're starting out, because it's a, a mild scent, it's a nice scent, Nivea scent. Uh, for me, I, there's a bit of a tangerine type thing. I can't smell it now, it's just when I first apply it for some reason. Uh, probably get used to it, uh, but it's very slick. It's good stuff. Pick up time, baby. Tell you what I'm going to do, just for a bit of fun. You have to open this to adjust it. You have to do it. Um, otherwise, you could end up damaging anything. And just for a minute, I'm going to take it up to setting nine. If you can see that. Just to feel the, um... oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll leave it on nine. So it is more aggressive. Everything's working nicely. I thought I had a nip there. So it's definitely working, the aggression. <laughs> if you're doing Movember, how are you coping with your uh, no issues at all yet for me?
this isn't really the way I do things really it's more aggressive towards the end I start aggressive and then go down but I planned on um, keeping the same aggression right through the shave but uh, I was too, too excitable, I wanted to try it. That's lovely. Okay, cold rinse and keep it wet because we're going to use the alum today. And someone did ask actually, um, would alum stop a cut? So here's a good test. It'll sting. I find the stip tick is better or quicker, I should say. You can do it. There we go. Sort that out after. So that was it. I'm very, very pleased with that. Everything's working nicely. You listen to this. Even sound the same. <laughs> Not that they wouldn't, but uh, no. See that the alum, it does work, but it's not as good. I don't think as a styptic pencil. And uh, we're using oh, this is a different one. Um, we're using it far too often for my liking. As you can see, the styptic works better. Okay. Uh, found seed today, a bit of Floyd the Genuine. Can't beat this. Lovely stuff, the classic this. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'd like it. <laughs> That's that. And then, this is the brother to the soap. It's the body shaving. You can body shave with this, you see. So good for the ladies, for your wife, and the legs and things. Um, that's that one. And lock it. Bit of a, don't need a lot. That'll do you. Lovely. And that's that. Plus, don't probably need to do this, but I'm going to do it. Just a bit of beard lotion, just a touch. And there. Uh, I 
and that'll do us. That will do us. So what we used, we've used the Global Shave Club Fat Guy. There it is. Very pleased with that. Thank you, Sheldon. Are we lit? Somebody's knocked the light. There you go. Absolutely stunning. A replica to the Fat Boy. And the only difference for me is the weight. Absolutely everything else is great. Well done. Must be a, that's a vast achievement these days. There's a lot of technical parts in there, I bet. So really nice, really enjoyed it. The Gillette Fat Guy works a treat. Um, Paul H. Brush Synthetic Tuxedo Citrine Handle. We've used Nivea Body Shaving Anti-Irritation Shave Stick. Um, we used a Gillette Silver Blue Blade, brand new. That worked lovely. Uh, what else have we used? We used the Genuine Gillette as well, just a comparison, but uh, I didn't see that's gone now. Uh, we used Welsh Water to rinse. We used Alum. We used this styptic pencil. I don't know where that came from. The other one somewhere. There. That's on the old cut. Then we used Floyd the Genuine Aftershave. Gorgeous stuff. And then the Body Shave and Anti Irritation. Um, aftershave Lotion. Good stuff. Good amount as well. And there, how many? 240 mil. Good stuff. So, uh, thanks again, Sheldon. Really nice. You should be very proud of that. Um, and as I say, if uh, if there's a gold one coming out, that'll look even even more stunning, I should imagine. Very much like the the executive, uh, uh, or well, the um, what's you call it, the other razor I've got there. Fantastic. So there we go. Many thanks, great razor. Thank you for watching. Hope you have some great shaves yourself. Uh, if you have one today, um, enjoy your dinner, whatever you're having. <laughs> Happy birthday again to Gavin. Regards to Natalie and um, La Chento's a gravy. I did mention that, didn't I? Mushroom and onion gravy. Uh, and that's it. So I'll see you now on Wednesday for the midweek shave. And it'll soon come round. Can't wait for it, can we? Looking good. Feels great. Fantastic. All the best. And I'll see you Wednesday. Take care.